What's going on guys? Trevor from Blackside Haler Strategic. Today we're going to be talking about how to size and fit your thorax. Now we're going to be needing a couple of things to get this accomplished. One is either a cloth measuring tape like I have here. This is a tailor's tape that you can get on Amazon or probably find it at Walmart. If you don't have one or you're kind of in a rush, you can improvise with a piece of string or here I've got 550 cord. And if you don't have 550 cord, uh, we can't be friends. So all you're going to do with this 550 cord to use as a ruler is you're just going to wrap it around your chest right across the back, right across your nipple line, and then just pinch where you have it measured, lay it across the table with a measuring tape fully extended, and then just reference that measuring tape for your measurement. Now, for those of us that have a tailor's tape like I have here, we are going to take it, we're going to wrap it all the way around our back, across our nipple line, and we need to make sure it's level so it's not sagging, so it throws our measurement off. And we're just going to lay our arms relax. And as you can see, I'm about 41 and a half inches, which puts me in the medium cummerbund, chicken strap, and plate bag category. Now, I am at the far end of the spectrum as far as the measurements go. So let's show you how we're supposed to have these plates sitting on our body so that we can best fit our cummerbund to our body. Okay, so now that we have our plate bag on, let's take a look at where our plates need to sit. The top of the plate needs to sit right about your clavicular notch, which is at the base of your neck. The bottom of the plate is right above your belly button, and the side is roughly about your nipple line. Now, as for the back of the plate, you can see it's basically a mirror image of where my front plate is sitting. The top of the back and the top of the front are perfectly in line with each other. They're in the same plane, which is important because, again, these are designed to stop bullets, fragmentation, things of that nature. And so we want them to protect our vital organs both on the front and the back. Don't want any, any sort of unevenness. Now, let's get into how I fit my cummerbund for me, and you can use some of my reference points to help you out. All right, now that we got our cummerbunds on our rear bag, I'm going to show you how I adjust this to, to fit me. Typically, I take three fingers, and I start from the center, and I put my left and right cummerbund on either side. And again, I've worn this plate carrier a ton. I, I know exactly how this fits my body, so this is a super straightforward and easy process for me. You're going to have to play with this a little bit. And if you don't have a partner, if you don't have someone that can help you with this, just take your time, use a mirror if you have to. Again, this is a super important step. So I take three fingers from the center, put my cummerbund on the left and right side, and then I'm gonna go ahead and seal this up. All right, so if you take a look at the sides, I actually have some loop that's exposed. Don't sweat that, that's totally acceptable. Just make sure you don't have it walked out so far that it's no longer secure. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is how you're wearing this and what capacity. So if you're a super high speed dude, you're rolling in vehicles or you know, you're know you rolling overseas, kicking in doors, you might wanna rock this thing pretty tight to your body because it's important that it stays still, right? Or if you're a security guy also overseas but you're standing watch on the ECP, you might wanna run this thing a little bit more loose. Again, keep in mind how you're gonna wear this, what you're wearing this for. Are you running side armor? Are you running radios on both sides? That's all gonna factor into how this fits against you. So for me, I'm doing mostly security stuff with this thing. Like my job in the military, I was a security guy, so I could get away with a medium cummerbund, a little bit on the looser side, no side armor, and no internal radios. For my army guys and my marine guys out there that are wearing side armor or are using double radios, take it into consideration that that's gonna add extra bulk. So it might bump you into another size category. If you're on the cusp of a size category on the large end, like I am for medium, and you know you're gonna be rocking side armor or extra mission essential gear on the inside, just take it into consideration how that's gonna affect your sizing. If you have any more questions, please reference the sizing section on our Thorax page, reference our instruction manual, and the two other videos that we have out there on our components and the accessories of our Thorax plate carrier. If you find yourself with some more questions unanswered by those resources, please feel free to reach out. Customer service at halerstrategic.com will take care of you. And one additional note, if you find that you're on the far end of the spectrum and you don't see that your measurement is on our sizing chart, again, reach out to our customer service. We will take care of you. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.